Hello everyone. Tonight we're going to explore the depths of history and we are going to unbox Robotech Defenders Strike Force set. In this set you get a Garten or a Thunderbolt and you get a helicopter. It's not like the uh, the armored uh, was an armored combat team where you got like the APC, the Jeep, the two and a half ton truck, and the mech. You just get the mech and the robot in here, but it's still loads of fun. I'm gonna pop the lid off of this, and I'm gonna show you the sides of it. Here we go. You get a front on view of the helicopter. You get the battle mech. You get a side view of the helicopter. Neat stuff. Kind of like a looks like an Airwolf. Uh, if you remember Airwolf uh, from the 80s, uh, there's advertisement. Two more sets, we've done that one. I'm trying to get a hold of that set. Uh, when I do, you can be guaranteed that we're going to do an unboxing of that as well. Got a little motorcycle down there. I thought that was kind of cool. Just a little details. 1984. 36 years old, folks. 36 years old. Again, the instruction booklet is a little bit uh, thicker than the rest. 46 steps. 46 steps, because we got to put together the uh, helicopter in 16 steps, and then 30 steps for the uh, for the mech. All right. And again, you get you get the glorious uh, Robotech Ravel Robotech Defenders uh, instructions that we've all come to uh, to know and love. You get the helicopter, you get the painting guide for the helicopter. You get the instructions for the battle mech. It is just so, so nice. You get the painting scheme for the uh, Thunderbolt. Nice. My only complaint with this really is that that missile launcher is like way, way, way too big. I, I think the missile launcher is a little out of scale uh, for the rest of the battle mech. It's just my opinion. Uh, I might be wrong. And we get the obligatory advertisement, so you want to buy more stuff out of here. We've seen this in previous videos. Uh, the only three I don't have is the Assault Squad, the Airborne Attackers, and the Commando Unit. I am working feverishly to get those two. I have a hard time finding that one out in the wild for some reason. And then on the back, we have the Robotech Changers, which are the transformable ones, the actual mecha from the cross, and the one in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, the Robotech Factory. Beautiful set, Robotech Factory. Let's open up some screws and let's see what we got. There's one, oh, one big bag and two smaller bag of uh, screws. So let's open up the big bag now. The big bag theory. Ha ha ha. Anyway. All right, that was a bad joke, I admit it. Here is the helicopter. Look at the helicopter here, man. I can't wait to show you guys this. I just cannot wait to show you guys this. Here we go. This is the cockpit for the uh, helicopter. This is the decal sheet for the helicopter. These are the sprues. This is the main body, and it looks like a missile pod for under the wing of the helicopter. This beautiful stuff. Here's the other side of it, because there's a little bit of detail over here on the other side, and the seats and things like that. Just absolutely gorgeous. The other, the rotor of the helicopter, the pilot, and other parts of it. Again, just absolutely gorgeous. These models really are a are a testament to how well things are made back then. This plastic hasn't aged a bit. Of course, plastic uh, plastic doesn't age. Uh, it's one of the problems with it, really. Uh, why we need to watch, uh, you know. We, we just need to come up with a better way to uh, recycle plastic, period.
go. Put that bag in there. Here is the one for the uh, Thunderbolt. The weapon systems. The missiles, the missile launcher, laser. The la laser. And the well, lasers on the uh, front. The smaller lasers in the front of it. Just beautiful. This beautiful detail you get on this. This is the most beautiful detail in the world. There's the feet of the battle mech. Nice, nice, nice. And then... That is the cockpit of the battle mech. This looks a lot like the Garten Unbox. Well, it is a Garten, but it, it's 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 funny how the Garten unboxing was a 148th scale model, and this is 172nd. So everything's just much smaller. I like 172nd in uh, 172nd uh, scale uh, models. They just they they, they fit better. I think they're more aesthetically pleasing uh, because six foot, the average height of a human, that, that type of thing. Again, the battle mech pilot, the hatch to the uh, cockpit, and just other details of just a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous model. And again, the decals to the model. It's still in great shape. The bag looks like it's stuck to it a little bit, but let's see if we can open it up and see what we can come up with here, huh? Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Look at those decals. I took them out of the bag they were in. Beautiful. Just like they rolled off the production line. How sweet are those? Those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful decals. I'm trying to get them back in the back in the box here. I'm the decal in the box. There we go. Okay, great. So alright, that was a dumb joke too. I didn't get it. And again, the most striking thing about these things are the box art. I mean, look at that. Look at that action sequence. You can stare at it for hours and find something different every time. It is just so... So there. And the fact that the rotor there... I'm going to zoom in on that for a second. The rotor there comes outside the frame of the, uh, the picture. It just makes it look like it's popping out at you without really being like 3D or anything like that. It just looks so fantastic. Well, this is gonna be the last uh, Robotech unboxing uh, that I do for a while. I am working to get other ones to add ooh, to my collection. Um, yeah, see my feet. And uh, so when I do, we will do more unboxing of those. I have not done an unboxing of the factory yet. I'm trying to hold off on that a little bit. Uh, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of different things on my channel. All right. Have fun and take care.